All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today we're gonna compare the Spyderco Shaman right over here up against the Spyderco Manix 2. Both of these uh, are a sprint run, so what I'm gonna say is gonna be valid for uh, also the regular production version with just a little bit of adjustment, uh, which I'm gonna tell you. So uh, right off the bat, the Shaman is just a tad uh, longer than the Manix 2. Uh, its length is 8.2 inches or 21 centimeters or and the Manix 2 is uh, 8 uh, inches and a little bit above 20 centimeters. Um, the uh, blade length for the Shaman is 3.6 inches or 91 millimeters and this guy the Manix 2 is a little bit shorter uh, at uh, 3.37 inches or 86 millimeters. Also the weight is going to be a little bit different uh, so uh, the Shaman in carbon fiber is going to weigh in at five ounces the regular version is going to be 5.2 whereas the manix is a little bit lighter at 4.4 um, ounces or 125 grams for this version whereas the g10 version is going to be heavier at 4.9 ounces or 139 grams you also have um, a lightweight option for the manix 2 which is going to be weighting in at three ounces so pretty pretty lightweight um, Biggest difference uh, of between these two guys is uh, probably the lock. Uh, Shaman is sporting a classic compression lock right over here. Manix 2 instead of has a nice ball bearing lock, uh, um, in, like uh, you know, employed uh, for the blade uh, locking mechanism. Um, also, you're gonna see that the Manix has. Uh, uh, couple of plastic parts like it's a hard plastic but these two uh, uh, but buttons are gonna be made of plastic whereas in the shaman you have all metal and carbon fiber in this case construction um, both uh, have uh, you know uh, not like a full grind like this is a saber grind but it's hollow as you can see and uh, with a huge flat and the shaman instead has a flat grind which is almost full there's just a little bit of flat up here also uh, shaman is employing like three screws two for the handle and one for the pivot and one stop pin whereas you know the uh, manix it's a little bit different having one for the screw two for the handle it's just you know this standoff um, lanyard uh, tube uh, to support the back of the handle um, you can also notice of course like you know the shaman is pretty well nicely rounded off all around the edges uh, giving you like an extremely comfortable grip. Manix 2 is less rounded off, but still it offers like a pretty astounding grip. They are both uh, nicely contoured, you know, nice finger grooves. They're gonna give you an excellent, excellent grip, uh, uh, absolutely. Um, also a, a little difference in the back, you have um, like the lanyard hole, it's gonna be a little bit bigger as you can see right over here in the Manix, so you can uh, pass through a thicker paracord than uh, in the Shaman. And also, you know, the, um, the clip, it's going to be a little bit different because you can see they drill the hole through the head of the clip, whereas on the Manix 2, it's just right on the side of the clip. Also, another little difference uh, is that you have four position uh, uh, positions for the clip in the Shaman, one, two, three four so fully uh, reversible whereas the manix just a couple so right and left carry um, another one is that manix has much more jimping going on all around uh, you know the edges like you have uh, at the top of, uh, of the blade right here in the finger choil also here in this you know in the this part of the handle as well as over here right down the back and you know these are not like like sharp but just nicely rounded teeth and as well in the in the back over here right before this uh, thumb ramp uh, the shaman oops the shaman just has um, uh, sh um, jumping over here and here and nothing in the back so just a little uh, less traction I would say less grip uh, for the shaman also 
Shaman is sporting a backspacer, which is not 100% flush. It's just a design choice is made like that. Uh, it's not a defect. And the Manix just has, you know, a regular standoff, which is uh, also like uh, your lanyard tube. Um, also, the Shaman has uh, skeletonized liners right over there. Uh, whereas you know the um, and, and they are like not as you know extending up to the end like in the manic so they are a little bit recessed over here so you can see the carbon fiber is sticking out um, so these are like full liners also heavily skeletonized but these are you know they are a little, they are still full but a little bit thinner than than these guys so uh, yeah so there you have it this was my quick comparison review between the manic to and the shaman uh, from Spyderco. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.